Aha! Oh well, 23 is where we are today here in Norwich, England. And this is going to be a fun time. This is my first time in the UK ever. We're going to do a few things. We're going to look around the showroom floor. I'm looking for those PAL exclusives. I want to find as many PAL exclusives as I can find uh, just in time for like a whatnot stream coming up. I'll get you more details on that when we find that, when we go out hunting for those PAL exclusive games for sure. A nicely sized vendor hall, huge panel setup. There's very, very cool things that I'm not finding like this guy here. Gimmick available soon. We'll check out some gimmick here pretty soon. For breakfast, enjoying a PAL Pepsi. Pepsi Pal. Oh, why don't they call it Pepsi Pal? It'd be great. It just tastes better. Can't explain it. No, I like this. Wall of TVs, wall of games. I got the pillows that is chill, I sit on or kneel on or whatever. Controllers for every occasion. This, this is the thing. This is the thing to check out for sure. I've been seeing this guy since set up yesterday and I just love how it looks. All part of the Nintendo Norwich UK an independent community. Okay. You'll see a few other guests pop up later in this video. He's not here yet, but the Nostalgia Nerd is here with some free stuff. When I say free, I mean I'm gonna take this. I'm just kidding. Around the bend, we have the Counter Strike all set up. This is the uh, panel room, kind of at the end of the hall here. There's some panels, some game show type elements. I'll be part of this too. I was looking at these from a distance. I was like, what? What kind of games are these? Oh no, no these are not games. These are the, the coasters. These are always fun too. You can play actual games in these actual consoles. Oh. Those are looking fun as well. That's the Palcom, Palcom version. Here we have a copy of Legend. <laughs> 20 pounds. Legit, honestly. It is legit. <laughs> Look how shiny the label is. I don't love that. I was looking for anything like local and I found a uh, Rise of the Robots. Here we have Street Racer. And this is kind of fun, a Sonic compilation with one and two and Robotnik's Mean Machine. What a great compilation this would make. Did we have this in the US? This. The, these three games on the same card? It's part of the Classics series, only eight bucks for <laughs> James Pond 2, which is a game I actually like quite a bit. Uh, fun to see that the Classics label is literally just a picture of the box art on a box of the box art. <laughs> they arrive at that. That's fun. A little peek at the inside there as well. Not a whole lot of PAL NES games, but here's Double Dragon 2 The Revenge with that PAL A down there for 15 pound. Rhythm Heaven? Nope. Rhythm Paradise. Rhythm Paradise on this one. <laughs> but you know what it is really, right? Well, it's Rhythm Paradise, of course. Over 50 Rhythm games. I wonder why they didn't want to use that with Heaven. Hmm. These are the standard Nintendo DS cases. So if you bought basically any game in the UK, it comes in a case like this. Yeah. <laughs> all right, very thicker. Uh, yeah, our 3DS, see, you know, our, our DS and 3DS look like that. Like all of our DS stuff is that way. Yeah. And not this not this thick, this thick boy here. Killer Instinct. Mario Yoshi, look at the fun label on this one. That's fun. Ooh. The scariness? Look at that Pamela Ranch label. Just looking for anything hyper local. Die Hard, yeah, that's a heavy, heavy guy there. I also love how these cases look too. All the blue label. Sega and their blue labels in the UK. Including Dragon's Blood. There's a fun one. Well, I don't know if it's fun, but at least the label looks fun. A few little loose titles over here. Wiz and Liz. It's always fun. I mean, could I ask for a better booth mate? We're right next to each other the whole all weekend. That's not a bad thing. It's awesome. So tall. Well, you know, can I just do this? Can I? <laughs> uh, so you've been here before. Yes. Oh my God. And before we get too far, uh, doors just open. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. all right. People well, coming in. Well, too late now. Well, I'll talk to you later. And then my booth mate on my other side is this guy. Hello. Hello dude. dude, we've known each other online forever. Long time. And now we're actually here in the same building. In the same place. Absolutely. Uh, you, you you brought literally <laughs> nothing to sell. It is. You can buy this if you want. It's not mine to sell, but hey, <laughs> hustle, man. Everyone's got to hustle. Only opened about half an hour ago. There's still people coming in, and it's a pretty good turnout. It goes all. It just stretches all the way back, and then we're angle it down. We're kind of near the front up here too, so I have to see. I'm looking forward to going out there. Let's see what else I can find. I gotta find some more of those pal exclusives. And I'm just now noticing your tattoo. What? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh my god. That's the best thing ever. That's the best thing I've seen all. Oh, so all the way. Around. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. I love it. I've been approved by Kevin Deason as well. Shout out to him. Okay. Dude, I love it. Got my man here. Tell me about the homebrew. Hey man, this is about my game Super Jackpot DX. It's based on the old Ultimate games. Right. Uh, we made for the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color. Uh, it was a game I made back in 1999. 
and we redid it in 2020 of the pandemic and we next for Game Boy. Now this is cool. I'm looking for Game Boy. It's a homebrew and everything. Awesome. Can people buy these online uh, or? A handful left. We did just have a third print run. Okay. So three runs. Uh, there's like maybe 20 left on the website for selfie takes. Okay. Um, and our new game for you is coming out real soon. Oh, watch out now. <laughs> Talk about convention food. This is a, this is their version of a sausage roll with some kind of like mango something or other. And uh, this is from a South African food truck just outside. And it's amazing. I've seen these before. Cool to see here too, live. It's nice to finally meet you in person. It is. It's the first time in UK. It is. Found some more. Oh, there you go. The Mega Drive version of Super WrestleMania. Of course, everything's Master System here. They do love their Master System. Here it is. <laughs> I know it. It's my favorite. Oh, this is such a clean copy, too. Super clean copy of Pickle Cubicle. Love this game. These guys do amazing things because they will make manuals to make your games complete. That's a fun idea. I love that idea. For instance, you know, there's just custom manuals for your Switch games. That's such a good idea. There are four PAL exclusives. Are we going to find them here today? Well, that came out, but it's not what the ones we're looking for. Do we have a Tasmania or whatever that weird Taz game is? And not today, but cool to see. Woo, just stuff like this. That's kind of fun. You know, even like the box art for Parappa the Rapper. Slightly different, but still kind of cool to see. Because it's, it's cardboard, but it snaps kind of. And uh, yeah, I can, I can imagine that being a thing. You can see just how that acts, you know. I feel like be some Saturn though. How about like Athletic Kings? <laughs> yeah, this is our uh, international track and field, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I got the uh, record of Lotus War. Love the anime on this one. Been begging for a, a, a sequel or like an update or a remake. But look at the face on that. You can actually, you can quite literally line this up. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Very nice to see. That's a nice condition for that box there too. We got the special offer on this side as well. <laughs> But I don't know, man. So here's the things I'm looking for here. Look, the box art difference for Wrath of the Black Manta. What about Shadow Warriors? Shadow Warriors. The box art for that one, amazing. I mean, you know what that game is, of course, just by looking at it, right? But come on. What you want to see? That is exactly what I've been looking. I was asking all around for it. I was like, give me all the ocean games. Everything made by ocean from across the ocean. Never the best games, but sometimes the best music. I'll give it that. Oh, come on, street gangs. Come on, street gangs. Ah, this. 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 You know what this game is? You know what this game is. I don't need to tell you what this game is. You know what this game is. But is it sealed on purpose? Can I open it up? I mean, I just want this without... Sometimes it's interesting to see things like Mystic Quest and F-Zero, but like, you know, different colored, different colored boxes on that too. That's kind of fun. I love to see things like that. That's awesome. Yeah, and this makes... See, well, you guys got these in the silver boxes, but then when it went to Super Nintendo, you were... Yeah, so, the, so Super Nintendo should have had the silver box as well. It, made, well. it makes the most sense for Konami to keep up with the tradition. It would have been nice. It would have been nice. But I, I love how it has different colors and everything, too. I collect the American Super Nintendo, so I like the uniformality of it all. And I was wondering about the sealedness of it all, but this is just acrylic cases. You open it up like this and play your game. So that... That is super cool. And something like this, with the unique boxer and all that, this is exactly what I'm looking for for that Whatnot stream. I'm gonna be buying a bunch of stuff while I'm here, and it's gonna go up on Whatnot. As a PAL exclusive, the things I bought here, gonna pass it on to you. And that's what's gonna be fun about this. So make sure you check out for that Whatnot stream. Gonna, I don't know when it's gonna be, but it's listed below. Time, date, and your chance to win stuff like this. Especially when you see something like Street Games. Do you, reckon, do you, think, do you think you know what this game is? What do you think this game is? Do you think you have an idea? Let's have a look. That's right, that's Street Gangs. You know that game now? There you go. Oh, here we go, here's the box version of Pickle Cubicle. What a deal too, 25 pounds? What a deal. 
My main man says like, I got something for you. He's gonna send me a whole bag of bulk broken games here. Watch. No. <laughs> That's usually what I get. <laughs> All right, bag of, bag of magic tricks here. Oh! Oh, that's, a, that's the old uh, custom case on that one. Yeah. This is very European. Not gonna find this anywhere else. Time will kill me. <laughs> I've heard of this game. Wait a minute. <laughs> it seems a little familiar. That's right. Curious to see. Time Lord. Uh, same box art, Bill and Bradley, but you got the letter there in the corner. That's Pal A. I do love me some Time Lord. You look for uniqueness like. Here is the box art for Mega Man 2. <laughs> Curious to see. Oh yeah. Um, What'd you find? Zombies ate my neighbors. Oh! Just zombies. It's just called zombies? Yeah. Oh, I need to find another copy of that then. I already see this. Gonna need that. Come on now. Woo! Gonna need that one. That's for sure. Oh, look at how awesome. How awesome is that box art there? That label art right there? That's the one to have. That is gorgeously beautiful. Let's do this for sure. Looking for, are we gonna find, oh, hey, that's kind of a fun looking Zelda. What is this? I'm trying to seduce you through the uh, lens there. Well, look at that, buy, buy me. It's a $3 game. Yeah, Alright, it works. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna find a rugby game somewhere. We'll do rugby. I'm good. Oh. This was one of the ones that was on the video. Micro Machines 2, a PAL exclusive. Look at the cute pink PS2. Look at the cute pink PS2. I love it. Ooh. Come on now. That one's not bad. You know what, at this point, I'm gonna avoid the crowds by hitting up. Oh, this is where all the good stuff is back here. Wait a minute, hold on. We'll give you a chance to see stuff back here. Like this, Vampire Kiss. Oh, look at that great. Uh, very tempting to grab that. Very tempting to grab that, we'll see. There's some good ones there too. It's not for Super Famicom, but we do have zombies. It's not Zombies Ate My Neighbors, it's just called Zombies. 50 bucks though, well 50 pounds rather. And it has that iconic Sega sticker on the side there too. Risky Woods. How risky are we talking? Oh, look at the box art on this one. That's gorgeous. What did you find? So this game here is peanuts. It's not of any value. But right. the American version of this is like a multi-hundred dollar rare game. <laughs> but, but that'll it's, work. It's, it's like region free, it doesn't even matter. I might just get it and be like, that's good enough. Yes. <laughs> but one thing I found actually. All right, what do you got? Street Racer for the Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, okay. exclusive to Europe. This is the only game Ubisoft ever made for the Sega Genesis. Interesting. The only one. And so you have to get it. Yeah, I'm going to. It's, yeah. it's absolutely coming back with me. I'm stealing. I'm sorry. I'm going to pilfer no, your no. exclusives <laughs> and liberate them from America. That's the plan. But, oh, well, I know. I love. I love any uh, so, anything like that. Anything that looks like that's good. Right. So we have some European exclusive Xbox releases. Okay. Barbarian, which are wonderful. Titus, Superman 64 company. <laughs> um, this only came out here. This is an interesting one. So, that looks so cool. Puyo Pop Fever by Sega. This game came out on the Dreamcast in Japan. Okay. Uh, it came out on the GameCube in North America. Okay. It came out on the Xbox in Europe, and then I think PS2 as well in Europe, yeah. and I think also PS2 in Japan. It was odd how Sega split it across multiple platforms in multiple countries. Right, and it's funny because like, isn't Xbox like pretty hyper American? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. If you want an Xbox version of this game, you got to get the European one. We didn't get it. Oh. This is a fun idea too. These guys are just awesome, awesome, awesome. I need my own version of one of these. Now these are just gorgeous. Look at the customized on one of those, huh? Oh! Out run. This is so cool. It's it's Lean to a, it. It's got a color color shifting. It does, Blue yeah. Purple. That's insane. Great work. This is for you. For me? That's for you. The white one? Yep. That's a refurbished. I was gonna say that is a that is I've never seen one that bright before. It's painted. Oh I see, okay. With matte matte clear coat, new stickers, basically new. That's, that's that's super new. So you can put this on one of your Famicom. No, oh, I I have I have a yellowed Famicom that can certainly use that. Oh, I appreciate. It. Oh, thank you so much, man. So good. It's a nice day here. Good lord. Nice convention hall. Yeah, I mean it's literally like the fairgrounds or the showgrounds or something like that too. And beautiful Norwich, England. I'm gonna grab some food here. We're gonna see what they have. They got some. They got the food trucks uh, lined out the side here. So let's 
Let's see what we can find for FUB. Wild ostrich burger and a brioche bun. South African ore works. Mm. In fact, they have a poke place here. 100% plant-based with slice and dice. And yes, they do have fizzy drinks. Well, I mean, the Taco Shack seems to be a pretty popular one. Let's check it out. That's just such a cool looking TV there, that monitor. To see something like that anyway. Oh, here's the arcade selection, but they're all these little <laughs> numbskull arcade machines. The quarter arcades. Hey, how about the uh, the UK magazine scene? Like Pixel Addict, like uh, Amiga Addict. I mean, after all, it is a very sensible magazine for sensitive people. Oh, uh, even got bins of magazines down here. Got a bunch of magazines up here too, 64 magazine. Now it's funny, I was a huge fan of this. This are $2 each in this box. They used to sell these at Barnes & Noble for like $10 each. I was featured in one of these, oh God, look at that. I was featured in one of these magazines for that game hack I did a long time ago. What a great idea. Oh yeah, I, I said $2, I meant two pounds, you know. Still learning. Look at this, Sega Power. Britain's best-selling Sega magazine. Some very cool things here. This one I'm not familiar with. Looks cool. Be Monica, Everlasting Night, huh? For the PlayStation 5. Good to know. And then this one, too. I've heard of this one. End of the Dark. I just, I just love the fact that they still make games like that. And we've seen this one before. The old projection pop-up book. Come on. It's always cool to see. Nicely packed here. This is for our... Uh, do you know gaming? Ooh. Tell me about yeah. the podcast first. Yep. Um, well, Unofficial Controller Podcast. It's a weekly gaming podcast. We cover anything from retro to new games to new stuff coming out to indie. We've got about four years now, so this is our first event. I love how you have the uh, the TurboTouch uh, 360 as the yeah. whatever. And now tell me about uh, these these guys here. <laughs> Why <laughs> they're nappies? Yeah, I, I see that. And the battle for Endor, right? At okay. At the end of the show each week, we do a thing called Stingray's Boot. Okay. Right? And Stingray's Boot is the new release games coming out that week. Right. And we always say on the show, hidden behind some counterfeit nappies and a dodgy copy for Battle of Endor each week. Okay. Here's this week's new releases. I love so it. So we've actually added them in. That's, that's a great looking label the there. the show, I appreciate Stingray's Boot. <laughs> there we go. We got, we got one. Okay. Here's Dan Dare 3, The Escape from the uh, 64 cassette, is what it says. This is the Ghouls and Ghosts and Turbo Outrun dual pack for the, oh, uh, here we go, Terry ST. Well, I mean, so it's kind of fun to see, just like some setup <laughs> for doing all this. I just love these two. For the Famicom TV, for the Super Famicom TV, both are great. Tell me what you have in your hand. We have the very first issue of Debug Magazine. Okay. Uh, it's a magazine named Squarely at the indie side of the game. That's my favorite. Debug, 100% pure indie. And my game is right, no, maybe not. Right, no, it's not in here either. Anyway, I, I make it mad at me in here, but that's, oh, I love, hey, there we go. We were just talking about that guy. As they battle to win prizes for both themselves and our He's life. introducing us. <laughs> we, have we are Team Pilot Wings for now. <laughs> and I'm very good at this game. This We're doing great. You're doing this wonderful. There is no way to know. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, I lost that right there. It was it was rocket pack. It was the uh, it was the, the rocket pack and the skydiving skydiving is fine. But the rocket pack, I went for the moving platform. It's either a hit or a miss. It was a, it was a miss this time. I usually hit it, but I don't know if it was the nerves. I don't know if it was because I was playing on a uh, the, uh, the, the PAL system. I don't know. Okay. Maybe just maybe there'll be some cool label. Oh, here's a cool label. Oh, it's a very cool label on that one. That'd be worth grabbing here. Oh, come on. How about this guy? What a deal. Fun. A game called Seamus. Now that's got to be a UK exclusive. I don't remember Seamus in the US, unless it called something else in the United States. I love the label offer Boulder Dash. Now the humans might be a UK exclusive, I bet that one is. Oh, they stack together. Oh, I see. Woo! Dude, what? Isn't that a game changer? Ooh, it, well, it is now. <laughs> yeah. I gotta have some of those. those are, that's what's really like great because you don't want to stack them on top of each other because then the box, the gravity of the boxes will kind of crush them after a while. You always have your worst game at the bottom. Oh, yeah. So you have to do the Shadow Warriors, the. The Probotector. That was the, I've never seen that in the box before. So we got that couple Game Boy games. 
and get this all going on, whatnot, all in good time. All right, and they gave me a deal on that Street Gangs. I'm grabbing Street Gangs, and they are gonna get to keep it in the cases. Look at this. This is interesting. Uh, instead of like putting up a rope or dropping it off, they're just putting up full ECW barricade so nobody comes through and shops around. And they're gonna leave this open uh, for drinks and whatnot. So, very cool. Food, okay. This has rump steak, I love it. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? The trio of pies. Yeah, the, uh, Look how much carbonation is in that. It is boiling over. This is a Zelda potion. This is a Zelda potion. I, it looks like it. I, that's the problem. Yes, this, is is. The, this is the Brewdog Punk IPA. Wait, I'm going to point this out to you. Okay, you, what do you got? Check it out. Is that Japanese or Korean or something? That is. Uh, that's Japanese. I thought it was local, but I little do I know. Brewdog is local. I don't know. The three pies? The three pies. Look at the size. When they say fish and chips, they don't scrimp on the fish. <laughs> Or the chips. Or skimp. Or scrim. Yeah. I am curious to try these. These are homemade, right? Yeah, they're homemade. They are homemade oh. blue chips. Blue chips. Can't explain them. They're just better. And bread. Okay. We have white bread. You oh my god. Them. White bread. No, I'm just kidding. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. Not yes. wrong. Fish and chips. This is haddock. Haddock. It even left the skin on it. I love it. Yep. Oh, the best part about it. No complaints for me. All right. This is the pie, mm. and then you add the gravy. You can put the gravy. You know, I want to do. It. We have. There's. There's more than enough here. So I'm gonna put this little little Canadian poutine action. If I had the. the ooh, I like that. I'll put a little bit over here too. Oops, wrong way. So British. Is it? Oh, yeah. right on the well, I'll, I'll yeah. Americanize it by just dumping the whole thing on there. This is part of the pie here. Oh, yeah, my I mean, gravy on everything is good. Mm. I'm okay with that. But it's, oh, it's super good. Good morning, sunshine. It is now Sunday in beautiful Norwich. Gemma, there you are. Hey. Providing breakfast, the sausage roll, the quintessential. This I've been waiting for this since I've been in town. Yes. It's a Greg's, see, they even said, it's a Greg's sausage roll. He's like, it's from Greg's. I guess this is the place. This is, this is the creme de la creme of British cuisine. I missed breakfast this morning. So this sausage roll, now what makes a sausage roll a proper sausage roll here uh, in your area? I think the more salt, the better. And I do think that um, Greg's sausage rolls oh. really have lots of salt, so they taste beautiful. Super flaky. It's a sausage on the inside. The literal sausage roll. It's the best thing ever. This is interesting to see. It includes eight great games, including Indy and more in the United Kingdom. It's got the Turbo, Atari, got something else over here too. Fun. And that's also fun. What the this is for the Norwich Retro Gamers area. And you're gonna see what was popular here versus what was popular there. I mean, yeah, what was popular here versus the United States. Very cool to see a PC Engine Duo R. Cool to see a Neo Geo CD as well. ZX Spectrum, or ZX Spectrum, sorry. Oh, Jetpack. I played Jetpack. That Jetpack was part of the, the, the Rare Replay. This beast. BBC Micro. That's a micro? Ain't nothing micro about that. MSX2. You might know this is um, Metal Gear and all that. Amstrad 85. Look at this puzzle bobble. I mean, it's all freaking out because of the CRT-ness of the whole thing. And maybe the Hertz thing? I don't know. But that is a cute. Look at the cuteness of this system here. How cute is that? Very Amiga friendly here. Looks like a lot of people had the uh, Amiga rocking. And then just things like, well, you know, that's what they had here. That's their, th their 32X. I like that logo actually quite a bit. Not sure about the PSP stuff, but happy to have a look anyway. Are there any PSP PAL exclusives? Is Pursuit Force one I should look out for? Maybe this uh, Superbike World Championship? Is that a thing that we need to be uh, concerned about? This is another exclusive. World Masters Golf only came out here. Didn't come out in the United States, didn't come out in Japan. Only right here in the UK, and for five pounds, I gotta grab this one for sure. Well, these are just neat little drop boxes for the characters there. Finn Balor, I mean, he's kind of a UK exclusive, but you know, not <laughs> in a different aspect too. No Big Daddy or anything, huh? That's not a, he was never. <laughs> no, of course not. not. No, I wouldn't I'm think not, so. I'm not, I'm All right, still looking. Still looking. Just in case. No, no, no. I have to go back to my table because I was shopping for games on the other side. And I got and my table is in the front. 
<laughs> so I gotta beeline over. Oh, and people are just just now coming in. We're good. We got we we got some time. I, I didn't miss anything. I hope. Just received this note on my table. Thanks for bringing the wrench over. That's right. I brought somebody a wrench today. Uh, here is a Bakewell tart. Hope we get Pokemon Crystal working. He gave me a copy of Pokemon Crystal for open cart surgery later. We'll see. Oh, look at this beauty. Not exactly the kind, but love how that looks. I'll try it. Now, yesterday I had an interview with these guys, or I had an interview anyway about their thing, and they uh, gave me one of these, a little gift. Lock on magazine here. A lot of stuff in here. So I'll take it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, it's art I just saw a second ago. Look at this. That's cool. You know the problem is. I don't know if that's cosplay or if that's just what he's wearing today. Can you explain the get-up here? Well, the important thing is, you know, when you're hunting the deadliest game, which is John Wicks, you're going to be prepared. <laughs> this is your game-hunting uniform. This is the opposite. Absolutely. You're going to be scouraging through all the forage and everything. Yeah, gonna... Although they did say this hat is not only suitable for survival games, right. it's not bulletproof. Okay. <laughs> well, fair it's enough. on the inside. You just, you know, just, you know. Yeah, well, do you, if it's not bulletproof, it's not going to do you any good in the United States. So. That's true, you know. I think, I think it's the best thing here. I think you'll be all right. For me... Portable style. That's kind of fun. I like this one. And here's that Wonder Mega. I see a Wonder Mega in real life. Stereo. Yep. It is a Mega CD. How would you like your Sega CD to look like this growing up? That would have been amazing. We're voting for her. Okay, okay. So this what did it I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. 864 is so much love, and I'm always so confused. But today, you've rectified yourselves. Come on, guys. Sorry. Yes, the final does. round <laughs> is 75% Sega here. Oh. Oh, it didn't sound as. A, re a rebound? Rebound? Is it justice? <laughs> Thank you, madam. All right. Console Wars. The best console goes to the Dreamcast. This is a Capri Sun, but this is black currant flavored Capri Sun. This is a cool idea here, but same Capri Sun. So this is. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Probably you hear me recording right when I die. But there's a rewind feature, right? The uh, rewind feature is on the left trigger. Oh, my yeah. Goodness. I love how that looks. Okay. There we go. It never, it never happened. Hold on. It never happened a second time. <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay. And this is coming soon? Yeah, it's coming soon. We okay. don't have a release date yet, but it's not far away. But they have. Oh, I think just go back to where it was. There we go. I love this. Is... Oh, wow. Okay, it's a little bit everything. Yeah, and physical on Switch and PS4. <laughs> I'm going to use every white feature a lot in this game. I've never been, I've always loved it, but I've never been good at it. <laughs> well, no, you can. There's also, like, quick save and quick load. So can if you I want to have... Uh, no, I think it's, like, City Connection, oh. the developer. <laughs> but we have a copy, copy at the office, both, like, the NES and the Defendicom. Okay. I was looking to grab some stickers and stuff from the table. We also have Swedish chocolates. Swedish chocolates. This is, is this like your most popular brand, the uh, Dumle? It's, it's one of the most popular. One of the most popular. Dumle. No complaints. But this one, that's the go-to. Or the other go-to. Just your standard chocolate. Chocolate's always better overseas. I'm gonna come in. Oh, I just gotta get over. So if I play as... And you can do four player, but you have to be really shoulder to shoulder to make this <laughs> work. Oh, it even has the arcade thing to it. I usually play as Raphael here, but we'll rock this. April O'Neil on the side of this cabinet. They removed it. Well, first off, what's up with that hand? Is that hand natural? No way. Yeah, I was talking about the shoulder to shoulder thing. But you can you can plug in your own controller down here. So you can't just kinda you just have to hover around it, I suppose. <laughs> Couple USB ports for uh, controllers. Little four player. I need to find some more games. Definitely don't have enough games. 
I don't have enough games. I'm gonna come back to this table. I got some games from earlier. Maybe we'll find something new. And here's kind of a nice looking 32X game here for the Mega Drive 32X. How much is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker going for on the Mega Drive? Oh, 25, okay. What do you got here? What do you got? All right. There's that Sensible Soccer game, and a lot of people love Sensible Soccer. There's that Zombies game again. Curious just to grab the box art for it alone. And Rollo to the rescue! <laughs> got the Muppets. I do like the Muppets. Five bucks only? Maybe. Here we have Super Mario World. Now look at the great box art here. This is some very cool box art for Super Mario World. I love the French writing on here as well. And it's in the box. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, about Super Mario World coming in a box for only uh, 45 pounds. And here's another exclusive Super International Cricket. Only 15 pounds. You know, this is a uh, exclusive. So I better grab this. Of course, if you need something to play it on, you've got these. The Master System 2 is very cool to see. I do like the fact that you get the Master System 2 right here. If you're wondering where the cartridge slot is, there it is. How awesome is that? I love that. I don't know, what do you think, Zion? Should we see if there's anything on this version of Mario Paint? For, I think it's 30 because it comes with the mouse. It comes with the mouse, but they're trading 30, 30 on that. Mm, curious. This game has a weight to it. <laughs> I don't... I wonder why there's a weight to this one. It's very heavy. Oh, is this the same one? Oh, I can just grab the loose card there. Ah, do I? I don't need the box. I'll just do the loose card. Alien Olympics. I'm not sure if this is an exclusive. I can find out. I believe it is. It's from Ocean, so that's a sign that it's definitely European of some sort. I'm gonna grab this anyway. It's only six pounds. I don't think I'll be okay with that. I haven't even looked in the glass case. People have just been hovering over it the whole time. But those are mostly just, you know, smaller, you know, the smaller, scalable things. Put them in the glass case. Ah, nothing wrong there. Here's a uh, Rolando V football. That's gotta be a European exclusive, too. And it has to be. Well, it misses me in Japan, but still. These are pretty cool here, too. Love it. The Mario. Look at the gift this guy just dropped off. Lion, lion cereal. It's not very nice. Jaws, feeding time. That's my feeding time right there. Yeah, these are these are real breakfast cereals. Back to the future. Come on, you can't you can't deny source of calcium and iron. See, you're you're making me healthy already. My greatest champion ever. Pretty cool. That's all right, but they all pale in comparison to the up up down down championship. And this is now yours. Oh, what? Seriously? Ah. For you, sir. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna wear this through security. You have to. That'll go around your waist, right? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. I might need a little bit. I might need a few extensions on this. I, I, if I have like ten of these, they'll all link together, maybe. Awesome. Thank you so much.